Welcome back everyone to another Robo Review. Today I am bringing you a review on a Earson Bluetooth waterproof shockproof speaker. This is going to be for your Android phone, for your iPhone, for anything with a Bluetooth connection. Uh, or it is also has an auxiliary jack on it so you can use a 3.5 millimeter um, cable which it does come with here and you can use one of these to connect it to your phone with the same results so just really quick here this is the box that it comes in um, nice sturdy box it's mostly in another language so I'm definitely uh, <clears throat> it's definitely not written in English so yeah I mean it's but it's a box so I mean the the logo on the actual speaker is in English so anyhow I uh, just wanted to show you really quick so it does come with your micro USB cable to charge it it's got a 15 milliamp 1500 milliamp battery so that's gonna give you probably about five hours of charge time so not the longest charge time as of, like, compared to many other Bluetooth speakers out there but you know this is gonna be about your $20 price tag so it is definitely an inexpensive speaker and for that I do like it so this isn't you know what you don't have to pay a ton of money from this and it does sound really good you get the waterproof functionality out of it and you know the connectivity to you know any type of Bluetooth or um, you know even if you want to do like an iPod that doesn't have Bluetooth you can do that as well so just to give you a quick demonstration here on how it sounds I'm gonna load up my phone which is already paired to it Okay, so right off the bat, it does the it doesn't have a ton of bass to it. So if you like really bassy speakers, this may not be the one for you. But again, $20 price tag for the base that it delivers, it is pretty decent. And this is, um, you know, just going back to the, the actual the speaker itself, it's really rugged. You could probably throw this around. It's got nice rubber stoppers on the side here, uh, a nice grill on the front. So it, it is pretty sturdy. It doesn't weigh a whole lot, but it's, you know, better than your, you know, real cheap speakers so and then the other thing about it like I did mention it is waterproof so with that in mind it, it doesn't say if it's splash proof or doesn't give an IP rating for it so we're gonna test that and see so I as you probably noticed have a bucket of water sitting right next to me so we're gonna go with a full submerged test while it's playing and make sure that this is so you know what I, I don't know if it actually will survive a full submerge so we're gonna find out so before I do that I'm gonna show you really quick here the top of the speaker itself this is where you turn it on and off there's a little switch here your micro USB port as well as your auxiliary port so we're gonna seal this up push it down nice and tight hopefully create a waterproof seal on it the uh, oh just to let you know too on the other side is going to be your Bluetooth pairing button as well as your volume up and down so we're gonna play the music again I'm gonna show you the volume up and down and then I am going to give it the water test and see how it works so here we go <laughs> Okay, so just really quick, if you push the plus and minus once, it will skip the track. And then if you actually, if you hold it down, that's what should increase the volume up and down. So let's try that one more time. There we go. So now it's decreasing the volume. And increase it. So, 
So that that is it. So two functions to these buttons. One press will skip the track, rewind or you know go backwards, and then you know long press will turn the volume up and down. So let's give it the water test now. I'm gonna turn it on again. <laughs> Okay, so it is still playing underwater, which I like that. It's actually, you can actually hear it playing underwater, so I'm going to let it sit for a little bit longer here just to, you know, make sure it can survive it for a while. There you have it, waterproof speaker, even submerged. So, and it's still functioning. So let's try one more time. It still works. So again, um, you know, even though they don't mention it uh, about the IP rating, it is. Um, I think that's IP6, which is probably submergible. You know, probably up to you know three feet for 30 minutes. I wouldn't go, you know, scuba diving with it. I doubt it has. I think that's the IP7 rating. Um, I could be incorrect. I'm just kind of going off the top of my head. So, again, um, it, it's. I, I like the fact that, you know, it, it does work underwater. Um, you drop it in the pool on accident, you should be okay. So, anyhow, if you guys like this review or if you find it helpful, you know, I always appreciate you know giving me a thumbs up on YouTube as well as you know you rating it helpful on Amazon so I uh, help me bring you future reviews so anyhow hope to see you guys in the future take care everyone